Now we read about the economic importance of the earthworm. Economic importance of earthworm. Now look here, what are the economic importance? In economic importance, we have to read two parts. That is, the two parts are the beneficial aspects as well as the harmful aspects. Now, let us first discuss about the beneficial aspects. Beneficial aspects. What are the beneficial aspects of the earthworm? The earthworms, previously we have studied that they live inside the burrows, they make burrows due to their regular burrowing habit. Due to their regular burrowing habit, as they make burrows. A number of burrows in the soil, the soil become loose, aerated and porous. The soil become loose, aerated and porous or simply we can say that earthworms are regularly plowing the field and they make the soil loose, aerated and porous. Apart from that, the worm casting increases the fertility of the soil. Worm casting increases fertility of the soil. So, these all activities helps farmers. They are regarded as friends of the farmer. The first is in agriculture. In agriculture, borrowing habit, borrowing habit makes soil loose, aerated, and porous. Makes soil loose, aerated, and porous. In the same way, Warm castings, warm castings increases fertility of soil. These activities to increase fertility of so soil, to make the soil loose, aerated and porous, all these activities helps the farmer. So, earthworms are regarded as earthworms are regarded as friends of farmers. So, earthworms are friends of the farmer. This is importance in agriculture. Now, another one is in vermicomposting. Now, the vermicomposting is a mechanism in which the decaying organic matters Dead decaying organic matters are changed into compost manure by the use of the earthworm. The earthworms are placed in the tanks or the containers containing the dead decaying organic matter. The earthworms eat the dead decaying organic matter and makes the worm casting and that worm casting is used as the manure. This process is called as the vermicomposting means process of converting dead decaying organic matter or simply the decaying organic matter simply decaying organic matter into compost manure by earthworm this is called as the barmy composting and the earthworms are used in Barmy composting that means making the compost manure in a process of making compost manure from the decaying organic matter. Now, another is they are used as food. Earthworms are used as food by different animals like fish, frog, birds, etc. Used as food by fishes, frogs, birds, etc. In the same way, as medicine. In the traditional way of treatment, in the traditional way of the treatment, the earthworms are used as medicine for the treatment of different diseases like jaundice, rheumatism, diarrhea, etc. Sexual impotency, etc. In traditional way of treatment like in Chinese way of treatment 
they are used as in traditional way of treatment they are used as medicine for the treatment of jaundice diarrhea rheumatism sexual impotency etc etc in the treatment of this diseases in the same way they are used as bait orthoms are used as bait for fishing they are used as bait for fishing in the same way they are used in lab in lab the orthoms are used to study their morphology as well as anatomy that means for the purpose of dissection used in lab to study morphology and anatomy anatomy means for dissection to study the internal part so this is about the importance or the beneficial aspects of the earthworm in agriculture they make the soil loose aerated porous due to their burrowing habits and the worm casting increases fertility of the soil that's why these activities helps the farmer so they are regarded as friends of the farmer they are used in vermi composting that means a process of making compost manure from the decaying organic matters they are used as food by different animals like fish frog birds etc in some part of the world some ethnic groups uncivilized peoples they also use orthom as the food as medicine in traditional way of treatment the orthoms are used as medicine for the treatment of diseases like jaundice diarrhea rheumatism sexual impotency etc they are used as bait for fishing and in lab they are used to study morphology as well as anatomy now regarding their harmful aspects there are no much more harmful aspects of the ferritima or the orthom in general as they make the soil loose aerated porous the probability of soil erosion increases the probability of seepage in dams made up of soil also increases and they also damage the worm casting also damages the greenery of the grounds and some earthworms are also intermediate host of the parasites as well as some earthworm also acts as parasite on the root of the plants now let write that also now we read about the harmful aspects of the orthom harmful aspects in harmful aspects the main thing which we have to know is that as they make the soil loose aerated loose the probability of the soil erosion increases now the first point is that is they make soil loose probability of soil erosion and landslide increases in slopey areas in slopey areas the probability of soil erosion and landslide increases in the same way probability of probability of seepage increases in dams probability of seepage increases in dams of soil in the same way worm casting damages the greenery of grounds like the golf courts in the same way 
some earthworms are intermediate host of parasites while some earthworms are parasites on the roots of plants okay this is about the harmful aspects they make soil loose that's why the probability of soil erosion in landslide increases in the slopey area another is probability of seepage increases in the dams of the soil if there is dam then the burrows of the earthworm increases the probability of seepage in the same way worm casting damages the greenery of the grounds and some earthworms are intermediate hosts of the parasite generally the nematodes hell means round worms the earthworms are parasite of the round worms and some earthworms are parasite on the roof of the uh, root of the plants like the pedi plants they act as the parasites okay this is about the economic importance of the earthworm